there, there's so, a little bit of a psychological boost at all, uh, Ryan, today with, with Derek, uh, you know, expected back out on the practice field, do you think? Well, it's excited to get him back out there. You know, obviously, he's put in a lot of work to get to this point, um, and it's been a while. So, you know, no doubt it's exciting to, to get him back out there, and we'll see what he can do. To everyone on the team, but just having him out there on the practice field, how much of a, a boost or just a, a mood energy booster can he provide? Well, Derek's a heck of a player, so you know, anytime we can uh, we can get him back out here working, working his way to to going out and competing with us is going to be huge for us. The last uh, regular season game of the season, it's not for sure whether or not you'll be playing, but again, just having him and uh, his presence. Even if he is on the sidelines, what can that do in terms of, of the possibility of having him long term? I mean, we like to get him back as soon as we can. You know, we'll see when that's going to be. Uh, you know, he has to work through some things and, and get ready to go. But um, excited for the steps that he's taken and, and the work he's put in to get to this point, and hopefully uh, it's sooner rather than later. I guess Ryan, is it for you guys to take care of business on Sunday, clinch your buy, and kind of put yourself in the best position possible for what's next? Well, it's huge. You know, big opportunity for us. Um, you know, division game on the road, and um, you mentioned everything we have at, at stake. You know, so to be able to to lock in the one seed and and secure home field advantage would be huge for us. So uh, excited for the opportunity to go down there and play some really good football and come away with a win. This team has been very successful since you've been here, and the fan attendance and everything has increased. How much have you noticed just like those fans being able to help you guys just as far as that impact and? Make a Nissan Stadium a tough place for opponents to play. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun to see, you know, the, the engagement throughout the city. Um, you know, the impact that the, the fans are making on Sundays, you know, defense is out there and, and the stadium's rocking. That's, uh, that's what you want. That's what you, 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 you love to have as a, as a home field advantage. So, you know, hopefully we can uh, continue to, to make it fun for, for fans to come to games. And we definitely love having their energy and enthusiasm and, and noise when defense is on the field. Mike talked about human nature making it tough sometimes to, to root for a guy to have success in front of you or to accept a lesser role and how good this team has, has been about that. How much do you think that's a key to what you guys have done? Well, it's huge. You know, we want to compete, you know, first and foremost, is, is we want to go out there and compete on the practice field and, uh, and earn a right to play. And then, um, you know, if you're not, you're not the guy who ends up getting to take the reps on Sunday, you want to encourage the guys in front of you. And, and that's been preached from day one since I've been here is, you know, we got to have uh, competition on the practice field and, and we're going to try to put the best guys on the field. And then uh, if you're not on the field, we're going to support each other and, and be a team. And so uh, I think you know, that message is, is resonated with the guys. We see it on a weekly basis of guys going out competing at practice and then um, a lot of engagement on the sideline on Sundays. Study the film from the first meeting with the Texans. You go back and you look. Most of the mistakes that you guys made, pretty simple to correct. Just to just to do a little something different here and there. Yeah, not not obviously uh, a great game from us, and um, definitely things we, we got to clean up. And I think we have cleaned up since that game. So uh, excited to to go out and, and play good football for four quarters, and um, you know show what we can do. What help, help have you? I guess speaking of you personally, Ryan, things have gone in a different direction since Houston. What are some things that, that you think you've done personally to kind of take things, uh, you know, kind of back on an upward curve there? Uh, just, you know, trying to be smart, you know, put the ball in a good location. Um, you know, we have had guys in the right spots, which has, has been good and, um, you know, limited mistakes there. So I think it all works together and, uh, you know, we're taking better the care of the ball overall offensively. Play action, pass the game, right? Like you, you, you do the run fake. You turn around and you look at the defense. Do you ever kind of like have to battle like that conviction? Like I know it's going to work, but it, you follow what I'm saying? Just like knowing it, it's going to be there, but then also having that balance of not putting it in harm's way. Yeah, you know those windows are so tight coming off the play action. Um, you have to be able to anticipate it and and have um, some confidence to just throw it into those tight windows. Uh, but then there's also some times whenever you turn your head and you don't see a guy until late. So then you may have to, uh, you know, adjust the ball and and throw it away. You know, we had a, had a play early on last week that was kind of like that. Didn't see a guy till late after I turned my head and um, you know, just had to kind of throw it away behind AJ. So uh, just finding that balance of of seeing when you can fit the ball in there and then when it's you know not the right time or, or not the right space and have to either move on or, or throw the ball away. That play you're speaking of was that the the play action where. Uh... 
uh, McMath had to had to slot fade and yeah. Okay. Do you feel like you guys have got some positive momentum going your way? You know, Derek coming back, guys coming off COVID, guys getting healthier, you won two in a row. Do you feel like things are coming together at the right time and now you guys got to take advantage of that? Yeah, no doubt we've built some momentum here these last few weeks and have to keep keep doing that. You know, keep coming out preparing and, and getting better on a daily basis and then showing up on Sundays and, and um, showing that improvement, showing that um, – that gumption as a team to, to go out and, and find ways to win each and every week. Passing game, uh, Ryan, you guys have been very efficient last last several weeks here, not necessarily huge numbers. Is there still a belief that, you know, if you need to start throwing, if you guys need to come back, that, that those numbers can be uh, produced? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, we're going to do whatever it takes to win. And everyone here knows how we like to play around here, and, and that's not going to change. Um, but we've had situations where we've had to, to go down and, and win a game late in the game and, and throw the ball. And, and we've done that more times than not. So I definitely have confidence in, in the guys that we have. And as we get healthy here at the, at the end of the year and, and build momentum, uh, have a lot of confidence. No matter what situation comes up, we'll have the, uh, the attitude and the guys to go make it happen. Great job with AJ, who's Batman, who's Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I haven't talked to him yet. yet but uh, you know, hopefully I can be Batman. I don't know. <laughs> with him back, though, obviously, and, and we expect Julio to play this weekend. Derek is coming back. Do you feel, though, that this offense has another level that maybe we haven't seen at any point this year that you can get to for the playoffs? Yeah, I hope so. You know, I think that we can continue to, to build on what we've done so far and, and gain momentum. You know, as you know, we get guys back, you know, as, as you know, Julio comes back, as Derek comes back, hopefully we can uh, continue to build and, and hit on all cylinders. You know, it's been a, a tough year just as far as who's been in, who's been out, and, and we've overcome a lot of adversity and found ways to win games. But we haven't played a whole lot of games where we've had, you know, all of our firepower and been able to, to put it all together. So hopefully, you know, as the season finishes up, you know, there's no magic, magic dust or you know, magic formula. If you just insert a guy, it's going to happen. You have to go out and and make it happen and and execute and make the plays when they arise. I mean, obviously, a lot to to be determined with Derek. But what was it like, kind of watching him get to this point? You know, he gets hurt in Indy. I mean, did you talk to him on a regular basis as he was going through rehab, or you kind of watch him and just see him getting suited up, and putting the putting the pads on today? Is that kind of a culmination of a lot of that? No doubt. I think you know, I think the real culmination will be when he gets to step back onto the on the field on a game day. But uh, it's been cool to see him just put in the work uh, and the time to uh, to do everything he can to get back on the field. So you know, no one no one in this building works as hard as Derek does. So you know, excited to see his hard work pay off. Been in this position, uh, Ryan, but I notice whenever guys get hurt, like Mike Cole last game, uh, Vrabel usually heads out on the field himself and you know maybe talks to the guy or whatever. Is, is that something the guys appreciate? Uh, you think? And and uh, you know I don't know if in in Miami the coaches you had did did you see that from from them uh, as well? Yeah, you definitely see it you know around the league a little bit, but uh, you know coach cares about us you know more than more than just football players. Um, it's a tough business, and it's sometimes hard decisions. But you know, we feel that, that he cares about us as people, and um, you know, I think he shows that when, he, when he's going out there and checking on guys. You, know, you never want to see anybody go down like that. But um, when someone does it, it's a gut punch to, to everyone on the team. You know, I think coaching staff included.